Right, the yeast has done its job. It's converted all the sugar to alcohol, but when it does that, it gives off CO2. And CO2 is not good. We don't want that in our liquid. So we need to get rid of that. And the easiest way for us to get rid of it is to actually give it a good whipping. So we're just gonna whip it up with this spoon. Obviously the, the water in here is quite black. So we're giving it a good beat up. We need to get it going. We also do a degasser, which goes on the end of a drill. And that's rather good. But have a look at the separate videos on that. That doesn't come with your starter kit. So we just need to get rid of all the gases. We're gonna do this for about two to three minutes. So I'm gonna disappear. And we're gonna keep doing this for probably three or four times today. And then we know it's, it's good to go. We can add the finings now, or you can add it later. It doesn't matter. So I'll come back to you in a few minutes after I've finished doing the, uh, the gassing and we'll add the finings to it. We've got our finings, part A and part B. These are turbo finings. Part A is going to go in at the start. That's Kieselsol. It's a man-made one. Part B is Kytosan. That is not man-made. If you are a vegetarian, do not add part B. But you will find that the two together produce fantastic results. Now, the idea of the findings is we have one which is a positive charge and one which is a negative charge. And between the two of them, they'll combine and they'll make a sieve like going through and down. And that will pick up all the bits in the liquid. So we'll end up with a lovely clear wash. How long does it take? Well, the findings that we use are actually vicious because unlike beer and wine, we're actually looking for this to taste of nothing. So the more vicious the findings, the more we take out taste, body, flavor, color, bouquet, all the things that we're not wanting in this, but we would want in beer or wine, but we're not wanting in this, we can be able to be quite vicious on the findings. And that's why they work so quickly, because they are quite vicious. So part A is gonna go in first. In she goes. And I'm gonna give it a good stir, because I need to make sure that's really well in. So we're gonna give that a good stir, good beat up, get those findings nicely dissolved. We're gonna put the lid on, and I'm gonna come back to you shortly, because we have to leave it before we add part B. So I'll see you shortly. Right, so we've added part one, we've given it a good stir, or part A, the kiesel sole. We're now gonna add part B. We needed to leave this one hour before part B is added. It doesn't matter if it's a bit longer, but the hour is the minimum. So I'm gonna just, again, cut the corner off there. And I'm gonna add that now to our bucket. Make sure we've left none behind. And again, now, this time, I just want to fold this in. I'm not looking to beat it in, I'm just folding it. There she goes, nicely folded in. And we're now gonna leave this to clear. 24 hours is what I normally like to do. But again, sometimes it will clear slightly quicker and sometimes it might take a bit longer. So again, if it does take a bit longer, don't panic. So we're gonna come back to you when we've got a nice clear wash and we can then show you what we're gonna do next with it. Uh, if you are vegetarian and you don't add part B, then unfortunately the only thing you can do is just leave it longer. It will clear, but it will take a lot longer. So we've now done our clearing process. As you can see in the bucket, we've got a thick black sediment here at the bottom where all the carbon has gone down to the bottom and we've got lovely clear liquid at the top. We've got our siphon here and on the siphon we've got an anti-sediment end here on the end which is designed so that the liquid comes over the top of it and therefore we can push this quite well down into the bottom of the bucket without the worry of us actually drawing up sediment. With the bucket, you can actually see there's a little indentation here on the actual, so it's on the two sides. I tend to use that to put my siphon so that I hold it in place. It does adjust up and down, so your siphon is quite good. One thing we always say to people is have a practice with it before you actually start. Try it in some water. Okay, and all we're going to do is we're just going to start the pumping action like so. 
and as you can see we've got a throttle valve on here so I'm just going to completely open up the throttle to let the, the liquid all run through. I'm going to put that down to the bottom of the bucket because I obviously don't want to get any air in it. So we'll let that run through. We're going to collect about 24 litres because we're going to have a, at least a litre left over at the end. Now, when we get near the end, what I want you to do is I want you to tilt the bucket from the back end. And we need to get something, oh, I don't know, I'd probably use one of these, something at the back just as a wedge, like so, so that we've now got the bucket tilted and as you can see, the siphon is at the front. Once you start getting down into the liquid, it's much easier to put that wedge into place. While the bucket's full, it's quite hard. So as you can see, we've got the, <coughs> the wash all running through now, down into the bucket. And I'll come back to you when we've actually finished this, because then we can talk about running it through the still. Um, <coughs> it's looking good. And inside this wash, just, just for curiosity, we've worked out that the alcohol in there is about 14%. It's lovely and clear, and it's, it's like having alcoholic water. So I'll come back to you and we'll talk about the still. Right, 23 and a half, 24 litres in our bucket. I've got to say, it's pretty clear, but it's not like water. <coughs> I'll try and just get you some in there. As you can see, there's a very, very slight grey haze to it. Don't worry about that, that's fine. The clearer, the better. But if there is a slight grey haze, you don't need to worry too much about it. Okay. So in our bucket, as I've said before, we have 23 and a half litres, 14% alcohol, lovely and clear. It's like alcoholic water. We're going to take this and we're going to put it in the still. So <clears throat> at this point, I'm just going to set up the still and I'll come back to you in a second. 